Okay, so we got the glove box piece down here, and um, let me see, let me just adjust this a little bit. There we go. So, I mean, that just is beautiful as it is. I know it's hard to see it. There you go. And that kind of glare, you can kind of see some um, some uh, abnormalities or some some dust particles that got caught while I was spraying. You can kind of see it in that glare, but it's there. But it's, I mean, it is beautiful there. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. It's a really simple process. I got a little sanding pad here. The, the grit of this doesn't matter. I'm just using it because it's, it's the right kind of firmness, okay? And I got a 1500 grit sandpaper that I'm just gonna wrap around it, okay? You don't wanna do it like this. Obviously, you can, you can cut one of these, but I, I, I didn't wanna cut it because I feel like I would be wasting it. So, um, I'm gonna be holding it kind of like this. I'm doing the sanding. Now, when you're using, uh, doing the wet sanding, you wanna use a little bit of distilled water. That much, I know it sounds crazy, I'm just gonna pour a little cap full of water here. Okay. We're not talking about a, a whole hell of a lot of water. It's fine, it's glossed. This is an exterior glaze, if you remember earlier. So now, I'm gonna just do a light sanding. Um, you don't need to apply a whole bunch of pressure here. You just wanna do a nice um, uniform sand. You may start to see it get a little cloudy because uh, as you're peeling this varnish up, um, it's gonna get cloudy. But don't, don't be concerned, it's fine. It is perfectly fine. Make sure you do the whole piece evenly. Okay. And you're gonna to have to do this a few times. I'm doing this by hand. You, you can use a machine if you feel inclined to do so. Um, I don't. I feel like uh, the, the machine, you, one second is near perfect and the next second you sand it through the varnish. And here we go, having to redo this whole exercise all over again. So, just take your time. We're sanding it down, We're sanding it down. It's 1500 grit, so it's not like you're gonna chew through this quickly. So if you can see this, ah, there we go. You can see it in the glare. The dull spots are the spots that I've sanded, and then the glossy spots are the high spots. Or, or actually, I got that backwards. Sorry, the dull spots were the high spots. The shiny spots are the low spots. Sorry, I said that backwards. So I still got some more wet sanding to do. We want this whole thing to be a near um, uniform dull. That means we've got it down to a, the, so, um, a flat surface, and then uh, then we can start buffing. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so as you can see, we've taken a little bit more off, and it's not as many shiny spots as you can see. It's going down. We still got some more work to do, but we're gonna sand a little bit more around this edge, and then I'm gonna. I'm not trying to take a lot of this varnish off. We did three heavy coats, so um, 
let's see what happens here. I think I might just take it down just a little bit more around here, just a little bit more. Because what you don't want is as you're polishing, you'll, you'll get high and low spots and it'll still look kind of wavy. You want this to be pretty smooth and the smoother this is, the more glassy finish you're gonna have. I mean, glassy smooth finish. So yeah, still got some more work to do. Okay, so I wanted to take a second to show you where I am. Just so you can see the clear difference between the two sides. So, let me see, can I zoom this out anymore? Okay, so, and you can see there in that glare is very few shiny spots, right? Very few, now look here, on the bottom, a lot more. See the difference, it's pretty much speckled there and nearly smooth there. So that's what I'm talking about. You want it to look like this top portion here. You see, you don't see as much speckle in the glare. Whereas here, when I glare it, you see that? About right there, you can see all the little shiny spots. So, just wanted to do that as a comparison. All right, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep sanding at it, and then uh, hopefully we can get I can get to show you how to buff it here in a few minutes. All right, so we're done. Um, now you're not going to get it completely, completely um, uh, without all the little shiny marks. But I mean, we really brought that down. We've sanded it really well. Um, it's looking really good. So now we are ready to put a few coats of wax and polish on it. So the way we're going to do this is um, the way we're going to do this. We're, we're using a couple. We're using. Uh, sorry, I'm stuttering like hell. I'm using this, this is the 205 mirror glaze. Okay, we're gonna use this. We're gonna, probably gonna do a few coats over top of that and it's gonna look, I mean, it's gonna look just amazing when we're done. Um, so we're using this and we're using two pads. Uh, both pads I got from Harbor Freight. We're using a blue pad first, a little more coarse. I mean, still, still pretty good. And then we're gonna finish it off with a, a black pad and that will give us that mirror finish. So let's get started. Okay, now we leave it for a second. Then we're gonna wipe it with a uh, microfiber cloth and then it should be near completion.
And I mean, as you can see in the video, you can see the mirror finish on it. It is shiny. You can see the roof of my garage in the, in the, in the glare. That's what we want. I'm sure I can find a before picture before I strip this thing down. Look at that. Mirror finish. Much shinier glass finish than it had before. Well, it didn't have anything before. <laughs> so this, trust me, is a major improvement over what it was. Um, wonderful stain on it um, super shiny you can see the camera you can see the camera in it <laughs> you don't see as the all the little dots and dings you see some of the wood uh, where there were where the the wood veneer itself had little pits in it where the the finish just kind of sunk into the pits and so and that's where uh, going back if you're doing this at home you can do it nearly identical to how I did it, but put lay it down on a flat surface. You should paint this piece on a flat surface because when you do it on a flat and you do a heavy coat over the top, um, you won't get the valleys in it as much. What should happen is uh, the finish should level off and almost like self-leveling concrete. It'll self-level across the, 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 the top and then as you build up layers, you won't get the divots. Um, so learn from, learn from my mistake. Don't hang it up, don't spray paint it, um, put it on a flat surface, okay? And this is this is ready to get reassembled and put back in the car. That, that looks really nice. That's gonna have a really nice um, finish to it. Glove box.
Thank you.